Hi everyone, Dave here again. Uh, this is the third example of a calculation. Uh, this one here is, uh, some people find it difficult working with things like volumes. Hopefully this will uh, give you an idea of how to get around the, the issues or some of the issues involved. So the question is, if a litre is a uh, cubic decimeter, how many cubic centimetres are in a litre? Now, because you're tackling a problem that's to do with volume, you've got to kind of think in three dimensions. So what I'm going to do, whoops, I just moved the paper back there. What I'm going to do is just draw a little cube here like this. So I can think through what is exactly going on here. So if a liter is a decimeter cube, or sorry, is a cubic decimeter, what does that really mean? Well, it means it measures one decimeter by one decimeter by one decimeter. Now we don't often use the word decimeter, we usually talk about centimeters. But centimeters are a hundredth uh, of a meter, and a decimeter is a tenth of a meter. So in other words, a decimeter is actually 10 centimeters, and that's the handle that we use to get stuck into this problem. So if you get the idea that a decimeter is actually 10 centimeters and you're thinking about a liter, the volume that a liter cube occupies is therefore 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Now we're getting somewhere because the question's asking how many cubic centimetres there are. Well, I've actually got the dimensions now drawn in centimetres. So to work out the number of cubic centimetres, it's actually, multi what you're doing is multiplying the three sides together. So it's actually 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So I'm going to write that down here. 10 centimetres multiplied by 10 centimetres multiplied by 10 centimetres. Okay, what's our answer going to be? Well, most people would reach straight for the calculator, but not me. The first thing I'd be thinking is, what units am I going to get when I do this calculation? Well, you're multiplying centimetres by centimetres by centimetres. In other words, that's cubic centimetres. So they're the units, and you can see that the units are consistent with what you're actually after here, so you know you're on the right track. The rest of it is just multiplying it out. Uh, in this case, it's just a thousand, of course. So, we write 1,000 cubic centimetres. So, there's the answer to our question. How many cubic centimetres are there in a litre? Well, because we know a litre is a cubic decimetre, the answer is there's a thousand cubic centimetres in a litre. Just for your own interest, you might also recall that there's another way in which we measure fairly small volumes, and that's to talk about millilitres or mils, which are a thousandth of a litre. And clearly, there must be 1,000 mils in a litre. So I can write 1,000 mils equals one litre. Well, doesn't 1,000 cubic centimetres equal one litre? So therefore, I can also say that 1,000 mils equals 1,000 cubic centimetres. In other words, one mil is actually a cubic centimetre. And I put that in for those of you working in some areas where you actually talk about volumes in terms of not of mils, but of cc's, which is short for cubic centimetre. And you can see where it all comes from.